guess what folks the good news gas prices went down bad news is still over four bucks a gallon it went down from 4.45 a gallon to 4.27 a gallon unless you got the three cent discount for cheese it goes down to 4.24 now, mind you, I not, I'm not blaming the people who work here, sheets, anything like that. I blame like a lot of people, but starters, well, the biggest way it falls on our government because some for the reason, they're not doing too much. Oh, I forgot, um, they say of a certain president going to release about several million barrels of oil. That's not going to drop the gas prices all that low. It's going to drop it low a little bit, but yeah, not low enough. Once again, those people who say, like, paying $4.27 a gallon is not that bad, apparently, you must be part of the one percenters who have it like that. As for the middle class and everybody else, yeah, we got to watch our budget more than ever to pay for gas. A lot of things are going up because of these high gas prices. But these are the people who, the, these are people who say that we're too whiny for paying high gas prices. Yeah, the people who are the one percent who say we're whiny. Yeah, right. So, before I forget, I got one simple question. Are you happy with gas, high gas prices? If you're happy about having high gas prices, continue what you're doing, what you did before, to get into this place. Those of us who are not happy, you know what you can do. Midterm elections is coming up. Vote with your wallet, not with your emotions. I repeat, if you want to change, vote with your wallet, not your emotions. More later. Hope to catch you later. Hey folks, now early you see me at the Sheets gas station in Johnstown, and yet the gas price they went down to four twenty-seven. Or you have like a Sheets card, it would be three cents off, it'd be like three twenty-four. Yes, the good news, the price is like gas is going down. The bad news, the price of gas is still up there at over four bucks a gallon. And of course, there'll be people who are so 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 determined to push for this so-called green energy. Who say like, hey, maybe you had electric cars, you'd be up better off. Number one, those who claim we should be okay, and some even dare say it's patriotic to pay higher gas prices. Those people who said that must be those one percenters who thinks who knows better. Now, I don't think every one percent of us think that because it goes against common sense. Middle class is hurting them, especially for anybody who has to travel long distances for work. Everybody else, they're hurting as well. So, as you can see here, I have my Uber driver gear. That's like my side hustle of the weekend. I got the shirt, hat, even a mask. Normally, I'll be driving the weekends for Uber, but because of the high gas prices, it's not worth it. You see, I live in a small town. And it filled up my gas tank in my car, which is a 2016 Chevy Impala, which has 18.5 gallons. That would cost me almost $80. To make it worth my while to drive for Uber for that, for, drive for Uber, I have to drive pretty much like, you know, all day and hope I get, you know, distances that I could go like from 10, 20, something, 30 miles. If I'm lucky, I get a trip to go to the airport or to another town like about a couple hours away, that'd be great. Otherwise, that, the way um, that, it, you know, the way things are going right now is highly unlikely. Because, unfortunately, because of the high gas prices, Uber and other ride shares is going to pass their expense to the riders. Which means those people be less likely to use ride shares as an end result. Like I said, it doesn't mean that um, Uber's going to shut down. No, Uber's not going to shut down. There will always be someone who needs Uber. But, like I said, at the moment, it's not worth it for me. Because if I was to do this a full-time job, I would have no choice but to um, go... And drive every single day. I might have to go to bigger cities like Altoona or Pittsburgh to make enough money to justify me using the car and using the gas. Fortunately, I got a full time job, so I'm not worried. Uber is just my side hustle. So, I, like I said, do I see myself drive for Uber? I see myself drive for Uber like closer to Memorial Day. Hopefully, the gas prices go down low enough to where I could justify being an Uber driver. Now, people are saying, like, okay, you can play by gas prices. Well, here's my thing on gas prices. A lot of blames going around about why the gas prices are so high. They blame it on Putin. They blame it on the battle in the Ukraine. But all classic is like, what about the greedy oil CEOs? Shell, BP, Texaco. 
can name a few. And I heard the story there's one gas station company that sells their gas and oil so cheap that everybody else is complaining. I say that same gas station that sells oil and gas cheap, I say they get these other guys, if you want to sell cheaper, guess what? Do that. They supposedly have like a big store that sell other products as well. If you can do that, do it. If you can form a chain and spread all over the United States, go for it. But as these politicians who pretty much like complain about, oh, we need green new deals, everyone, everyone should drive electric cars. Number one, if you happen to have an extra $60,000, sure, you give me that, I get an electric car. That's one. Number two, if you know any nearby places I got charge up my car, and hopefully the charge won't cost me an arm and a leg, sure. But most importantly, where do you get the energy for the charging stations? Because the biggest problem I see, there's not a whole lot of places that sell electric cars that is affordable. But one more thing, though, um, this does make sense. What makes you think everyone's going to go for it? There are people who will not give up their pickup trucks. There are people who will not give up their SUVs. And people like me who love their Apollos, they're not giving that up. The day I get an electric car is the day of the Air Force One. Yes, the same Air Force One that Biden fell up the stairs. Not down, up the stairs. The day of the Air Force One runs on electricity, then I might get an electric car. But on that note, I got one final question for, for you, America. One final question I have for you. Are you happy paying for high gas prices? Are you happy with high inflation? Are you happy with the way things are going in this country right now? If you're happy and you know it, do absolutely nothing. If you're sick and tired of this insanity that has run this country to the ground, do yourself and your country one big favor. Stop voting with your heart. Stop voting with your emotions. You want to know what you want to vote with? Vote with your pocketbook. Vote with your wallet. You want to see improvement? Stop voting with this. Vote with this. This thinks more clearly, more analytically, and sooner or later, that logic you'd be ignoring is going to tell you to do the right thing. Ignore this. Listen to this. Wake up, America. This may be our last chance.